Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Maven and get Maven ready for Bucket. So it's actually pretty easy, um, but it's something that intimidates a lot of people, and it, it, it intimidated me at first when I first started using Maven, but the more I used it, the more I realized I was like, wow, this is super easy and a lot more efficient to use than just importing with build paths. Now, that's not saying I'm going to import with Maven every single time I have a video, um, but it does make it a little bit easier when you try to manage and keep track of your imports, and if you have a lot of imports. So we're just gonna go ahead and create a new module, and we're just going to go ahead and choose Maven, and then we're gonna go ahead and click Next. And our group ID, we are just going to put uh, Maven and our artifact ID will be just be Maven dash test and our version is 1.0 snapshot. Uh, this is important for when if you're creating multiple versions of your plugin and having your plugin on a Maven repository. So make sure you you know you change that when it's applicable. So we're just gonna go here and change this to Maven test. Okay. So as soon as it shows up here in my sidebar, there we go. So now we have a Maven test and we have here what's called a POM XML file. And now this keeps track of all your repositories and your dependencies, right? So as soon as this, I have my uh, IntelliJ on automatic loading, um, so don't worry about that. So as soon as this is all finished here, we will go ahead and start adding some more stuff. Well, we can add more stuff now. So what you want to do is just Google Spigot Maven, should be the first link, and then just go ahead and it gives you exactly what you need to copy and paste in but just so I can sort of go over what you need we'll just copy this all first and then we'll go ahead and just paste it in there um, but I actually want uh, actually I want 1.11 here so as this updates here I will uh, I'll be right back okay so it is all imported here so if we don't want to use this version after we've gotten to here all we have to do is just go ahead and say one point and it should pop up a couple different versions here. So let's just go ahead and use uh, 1.11.2 and we'll just go ahead and change that down here as well. And you're gonna see there that my Maven is auto updating that. So we can actually close this down now. Uh, but first let me actually explain sort of what's happening here. So let's just separate these out here. So we have our repositories, which is the spit repo, which is just this, well, this is the main part of it. But then if we click this right here and we go to snapshots, repositories, snapshots, uh, you can see there that we pretty much match right up there. So if you go to snapshots here, there we go. So this is where we're ending here. And then we're getting Spigot API. So we're going to go here, Spigot MC, Spigot API. And you can see there that we have all of these different repositories here. So that is the repository. Now the dependency is what we're actually getting from the repository. So we want to get the group ID of org.spigotmc, which is what we're in right now, org.spigotmc. And we want spigot API, which is right here, spigot API. And then we want to go ahead and grab the version, which is 11.11.2-r.1 uh, snapshot, which is right here, OK? So, and then we're just, uh, scope is provided. And then we have to go ahead and get the bucket API as well, which is the same thing, just org.bucket, bucket, and then the same snapshot version. So, what we can do now is we can go ahead and close that out. We can open up our project here. Don't worry about this test folder. You probably won't need to do much inside of there. Uh, we're just going to focus on this main here, and we're going to go to Java, and we're just going to create our main class and our package. So, we're just going to say coding dot maven dot maven main and we'll go ahead and create that and now that we have this let's just go ahead into our resources folder here create a new file plugin dot yml and let's just go ahead and say name version main and author we'll just go ahead and put in so we'll just fill this all out really quick. And now you can get 
uh, like your name and version from your POM XML file. I believe if you do something like uh, something like this or something, and you can get get it. I'm not too too sure about that. Um, but you can go ahead and look that up if you'd like. So we'll just say Maven plugin version is 1.0, and main is not that. It is this dot Maven main. So let's go ahead and close that. Let's just go in here, and now what we can do is we can go ahead and say extends Java plugin. Great. So now we have Java plugin, and you can see there that I don't have any jar files. So our Maven is working, and if we just go ahead and say public void on enable, and we will just make a simple system dot. Oops. This dot get logger dot info. Uh, Maven works. So if we go ahead and just uh, Alt Shift Control S, it's super long, and we just go ahead and go to jar from modules with dependencies, Maven test. And if we just go ahead and change this output here to YouTube tutorials, not what I want, I actually want tutorial. And we go here to plugins, click apply, click OK. We can go ahead and export and let's grab Maven test. And it's gonna sort of build our our plugin here. So it's, it might take a little bit depending what version you're on. And let's just go ahead and reload. And Maven works. So that is all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. If you guys would like some more videos sort of explaining Maven in the future, uh, be sure to leave a comment down below. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys, and thank you so much for watching.